Hi, this is Diane Love to Bake on YouTube. What we're going to make are honey cookies or Polish honey cookies called Piernik. I hope I'm pronouncing that uh, correctly. There are quite a few versions of it. Um, I guess you could consider it like a gingerbread cookie or a spice cookie, but they are a delicious cookie. So let's get started. You're first going to start off with a half a cup of honey and of course whatever brand that you have or that you prefer. That was a half a cup. Now I'm going to be giving you all the ingredients as I put this recipe together because I no longer am listing the ingredients or the recipe below the video uh, due to so many people copying and uh, uh, you know, taking these recipes uh, to their websites or their articles and publishing them without, well, I, I just, it's much easier that way and many people on YouTube are doing that for the same reason. So I'm really sorry about that, but you'll have to kind of stay with me and listen to the video to get all the ingredients. Um, so, so far I put in a half a cup of honey and then I'm going to put a half a cup of granulated sugar and then just start blending this together. Now, you can uh, use your hand mixer, of course. Uh, I like my stand because I think it's much quicker for me and easier and also for the video. Now, that shouldn't take you very long at all just to blend the honey and the granulated sugar. The next thing that we're going to be putting in are eggs, and you're going to need two eggs and beat them in. You're also going to be putting in vanilla, and you're going to put one half teaspoon of vanilla. Till it's um, you know very um, gold like honey color and smooth till it's all combined all right now let's work on our dry ingredients we're first going to need three cups of all-purpose flour you're going to need a teaspoon of baking soda okay you're also going to be putting in um, a half a teaspoon of salt and I'm just gonna use a spoon to stir that in and then there's additional spices that are going to go in but I'm going to put them in after I start putting this in and I'm just going to put this in a little at a time and I'm going to stop it there for a second because we're also going to be putting in a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. We're going to put a half a teaspoon of ginger. And we're also going to be putting in a half a teaspoon of nutmeg and a quarter teaspoon of cloves. Okay. Now, if you don't like cloves, leave it out. Just I would add uh, the additional uh, quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. Uh, if you don't you don't like uh, the cloves, but let's start mixing this in till we find uh, combine a cookie dough. Now, um, once you do that, it's going to look quite dry and crumbly. So stay with it till it all comes together. Start to start forming a cookie dough. For me. Stay with it 
you know, don't give up on it thinking you did something wrong, okay? So the dough will come out like this, and it's quite stiff. What you'll want to do is put, um, you know, it in your bowl or make a mound of it and cover it with uh, saran wrap, plastic wrap, and let it sit for about two hours. Um, I actually like to put mine in the refrigerator uh, and kind of chill it. Uh, but not everybody does that. Uh, they just find to let it sit out. So it's going to be up to you uh, to find out what works best for you or whatever that uh, you like. But you do want it to set up for at least um, about, about two hours. Okay, so that's the only long part of this recipe. Now, because this has to set up for a couple hours, I have some already made to show you I just want to take this out of my bowl okay now this isn't all of it because I've made some cookies out of it already in fact I think about well close to 15 cookies or something so it's going to be bigger than this of what you're seeing me handle right now you have that great aroma and smell of the honey and all those nice uh, spices so it's been two hours, and this is the dough, what it's going to look like. And then just flour your countertop or your um, board or whatever you're using, okay? And I'm just going to take a small chunk out of this, put the rest back in my bowl, and put it down on that, and then roll it out to about a quarter of an inch. Now, it's going to be up to you. Do you want to make them a little thinner? Do you want to make them a little thicker? Um, if you make them about a quarter of an inch, um, and, you know, that's about perfect. Now, you can use whatever shape cutter you want. I just actually use a glass uh, about two and a half inches across on a quarter inch thickness. But again, go ahead and use whatever type of cookie cutters that, that you like. Now, you will need to put this cookie down on either parchment paper or heavily grease uh, your pan, okay, because you don't want these um, to stick. So let's just cut out a, a, a couple of them here, okay, and put them down. Now, they are going to spread a little bit, so do place them, you know, a couple inches uh, apart. So let me roll this up and just get that out of the way. Now, the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to need one egg white, okay? And just uh, then go over the cookie with your egg white, with your brush, um, like that, okay? That was one egg white beat, beaten. And then you're going to need, I like to put almonds. Now, if you don't want to put the whole almond, then you can buy them where they're sliced. And then just put an almond right in the center of the of the cookie. Now, generally, you can get about four dozen of these cookies. You need um, at least um, 48 uh, halves of, of the almonds. Uh, that's the halves. Uh, you know, that type of thing. You really could garnish it with whatever type of nut that you like, but uh, I particularly like to use the almonds for these um, honey cookies. Now you're going to bake them at 375 degrees, and they're going to take you anywhere from 8 to 10 minutes. When they come out, though, do put them on your cooling rack, uh, you know, and let them cool down for, for you. Let me rinse my hands quickly. I'm working with raw egg there. Okay. And let me dry my hands real quick. All right. I'd like to show you what they look like once they uh, bake up. And they do come out to be really a beautiful cookie. Um, again, it, you use different cookie cutter shapes. Uh, if you don't like the, you know, the traditional round, they'll bake up a nice golden brown on the bottom. Uh, if you like them to be a little bit lighter in color, uh, just, you know, take them out a little bit earlier. I like them to be this color uh, in particular. Um, and they just smell delicious, these cookies. I hope that you can... You can see them, how pretty they come out after they're baked up. Now, the top and the bottom will be a crisp. 
and then when you uh, break into them they'll be well I would say more of um, a drier cookie they will have you know um, a, a bit of chewiness to them I don't know if you can see that as I'm breaking this cookie apart it's not completely snapping that it's super dry or anything like that and they're quite light they really are quite a delicious cookie they smell just uh, fantastic as they're baking in the oven and they're great again with a cup of coffee or a cup of tea or just with a glass of milk so there you have it honey co cookies per pernique I hope I'm saying that correctly again. I really appreciate you watching Diane Love to Bake on YouTube. If you're watching my videos anywhere else, you're not watching them on YouTube. And I really would appreciate you to do that because so many of you write to me and I, I don't even get your messages because of the people out there that are copying a lot of people like myself uh, our videos and you're writing comments or, or asking questions and we're not getting them we're not getting the questions to be able to answer them as always I appreciate you do, writing to me I'll answer us as, as quickly as I can uh, I'd appreciate you um, you know giving me a like or even subscribing my channel I really appreciate it and I really 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 appreciate the people all that have subscribed to my channel so I want to thank you again for watching Diane Love to Bake on YouTube, and I'll see you soon.